Okay. All right, Dalton, so you wanna, hey, we are live. We're testing out a possible video format show. Um, but we first need to get Eric, our guest, online. So we'll see when Eric starts watching. And then we're gonna bring Eric in. And Eric is uh, a real estate agent. Where's Eric from? Virginia. Virginia. I keep wanting to think he's in Vermont. Who just got in here? Danielle got in here. What's up, Danielle? How's work? There's Eric. Okay, so Eric wants to get in. This is exciting. Um, Daniel Roberts, love it, from Florida. Rachel White from here in Fresno, California. Russ. Daryl Wong. Buddy, I haven't seen you forever. Last time I saw you, I think you are coming here to collect money from me. Uh... Jim, thank you. Bring the camera. I love it. I'm waving. Uh, work is good. I, tell Ken he needs to make his calls. I know he's not making them. It's already 4.30 in Friday. He's got 30 more minutes left. Um, let's get Eric in here. He's going to be our first guest. Uh, dun, dun, where's Eric? Claudia, hello. How are you? Okay, I see. Here we go. Eric, you're super excited about being the first guest uh, format uh, this test video show we're going to do, right? It's kind of well, like, okay, we got a black box for Eric. There you are. Eric, talk to, and then uh, give us a bunch of likes and hearts. What's happening, Jason? Awesome. Well, I can hear you good. Everyone, give me a hearts, likes, whatever. Uh, let us know that you can hear Eric and I both. Eric, say a few words. Come on, guys. Show me some love. There, lots of love. Hey, lots Tom, love. what's happening, buddy? Andy, I see you. Jill, what's going on, guys? I like it. I like it. So um, it's Friday afternoon, uh, one thirty my time. Uh, was it about 4.30 your time, Eric? It is. About 4.30? Yeah, or uh, almost quitting time. <laughs> You're a real estate agent. You don't quit. Yeah, yep, 4.30 here, buddy. So uh, Eric and I were having a conversation. <laughs> Eric and I were having a conversation about social media recently, uh, video in particular. And he said, "Man, like I can crush video. I want to do video, but I just don't even know what to talk about." And I said, "Well, dude, we can just get on there and talk. Like, just get to know each other. Let people get to know us. Ask any question we want." Then I thought, "Well, how fun would this be? Is I did a show on this." And maybe I'll do it twice a week. Maybe I do it once a week. But we'll take we'll uh, create some consistency around it, where I reach out to different people I know across the country, and we ask them questions. Maybe we do an East Coast versus West Coast uh, beer thing. We talk about IPAs, like what's the difference there. Uh, maybe we're talking about uh, East Coast West Coast rap. I don't know. If we're talking to people in Arizona, that might be fun. Ken Man, Post. Stop it. Hey, Ken. How are you? I'm, I'm glad that you joined us in. Ken is an amazing winemaker, if uh, you guys are into wine. Uh, Ken, you're in, uh, text it if you can, Ken. Uh, what winery are you at now? And Eric Bolin, pay attention. I know you used to live in the Napa area, right? All right. So while they're trying to figure out how to type on their phones, um, <laughs> right? Eric, so tell us a little bit. Of, give, give us your uh, Mike McCorder's even on. Man, we got a great audience. Uh, Eric, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, just like where, where you're from, how long you've been in real estate, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so I actually came from Florida, uh, as you well know. Um, moved up here about 10 years ago. Um, I got into real estate about two years ago. Um, just, you know. Thought I'd, I'd try my hand here, and uh, I don't know. I think it's done well for me. Um, I think, let's see, last 12 months uh, closed pending, I think, is about 18 in the last 12 months, 18 homes. So um, just working diligently, man, just trying to stay busy. Not that. Um, I love it. I love what I do. It's For those of us not in your market, tell us a little bit about, like, what's your average sales price in your market? I mean, right. I so, um, uh, right. So it's, it's pretty crazy here, man. You know, we we're we're kind of expecting the downturn, except it's just not happening. Um, so like looking at averages from last month, um, in the month of July, 
the average home sale in uh, our zip code here where my office is located in Sterling, it was $620,000, which was up almost 4% from this time last year, um, which is just unbelievable. Um, and that's, that's with an average days on market at only 35 days. So there's just no inventory and tons of buyers. And it is, uh, you know, it's, it's a struggle right now for buyers. They're, they're, it's super competitive. Homes are going over list price. Um, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's, I guess it's kind of the, the timing that you find yourself in. Uh, it's, you know, it's tough. Did but you say something about that? What, those are, what's uh, the those are the facts, the man. What's the average? It's 35 days. Yet? 35 days. So to give you some perspective, like so in Fresno, our average sold price is uh, 318,000 uh, days on markets, 25. It, it says 25, right. if you're looking at our entire market, but that of course includes, you know, all price points that are selling. Um, if you're looking at like the $200,000 price point, that number goes down significantly. Um, average price yeah. per square foot is about 170 right now. I'm not big into that number. Do you like, do you use that average? Do you use yeah. price per square foot a lot? I don't. I, I don't, you know, it's funny. I, I think probably the biggest question I get from buyers and it, it makes me laugh a little bit is, you know, they, they ask, they say, you know, what do you think the lowest amount is that the seller will accept? Well, you know, that's hard to say. I mean, we can look at all the numbers and all that stuff, but you know, ultimately it, what it boils down to is, you know, what's, what's the offer you want to put on the table? Um, the price per square footage thing, CMAs, it's, you know, look, they're subjective. I, I kind of go with my gut, I think. Um, certainly there's some education that goes into that, some some feel and some experience, but ultimately it's just kind of going with your gut, you know? All right, all right, fair enough. Hey, so I had my assistant, since I didn't know a whole bunch about Virginia, <laughs> check this out. I had my assistant, <laughs> I, said, I, I told her, I said, give me some facts about Virginia. So when I get Eric online, you know, maybe I got something to talk about. And, and this is what she sends to me. She says, college brothers was, were basically, or college bros were basically invented here. Virginia is the birthplace of both streaking and fraternities. <laughs> I so, guess I mean, uh, I mean, so. I mean, I guess the viewers want to know, like, is this something you do? Like, you're, are you a streaker? Have you streaked? That doesn't count. I'm not from here. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not. Okay, fair enough. I'm All from right. the I'm from the Sunshine State. So what about this? The next thing it says it says Virginia handles seventy percent of the world's internet traffic. Did you know that? In fact, yeah, I did, and that's in Loudoun County. Um, I mean, Loudoun County is essentially a giant server. Like it's unbelievable. Yeah, um, I did know that. That's uh, kudos to your assistant for finding that out. Hey, so if you knew that about Virginia, throw up some likes or hearts or something like. Or as a matter of fact, if it's surprising to you, like hit some likes, because I think that's crazy. Like 70% of the world's internet traffic. Yeah. You can see this blowing yeah. up right now. Unbelievable. No. And so actually I have a friend of mine, he works for a, um, he works for Merit uh, Construction, commercial land. They're actually competing with these, uh, these companies that are buying it to build, you know, space for servers and that they're com getting completely outbid for that land. It's unbelievable. Interesting. I, you know, I've always kind of wondered where all these big giant servers are, but uh, there you go. And hey, by the way, Danielle Roberts, right? So Ken and Danielle, they're in the Sunshine State in Florida. And she says that people streak <laughs> there all the time. So she's in your birth state. Mostly in Walmart. Was, yeah, mostly in Walmart, <laughs> right? And then, and Daryl Wong must know something about uh, internet stuff. He said mo monitored by Langley. Uh, that doesn't so, surprise me. Yeah, yeah. And then the last big fact, well, she gave me two other facts. She said one, Dirty Dancing was filmed entirely in in, in where you are now, right? In Virginia, do you know I that? I didn't know that. Well, there you go, now you know. Do. Now everybody here now knows. However, that. However the one, uh, the one, I think I think he just threatened Persist. to put me put me in the corner. <laughs> Did you say you're gonna put me in the corner? Uh -huh. Don't put baby in the corner. Uh, and then <laughs> Virginia has produced the most presidents, including some of the nation's earliest leaders, including George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, 
and James Monroe. There's been eight total. Did you know that? No, this is news to me, my friend. Ah, I, mean, I mean, I don't know. It's not some shocking revelation, but uh, yeah, I, I guess that's uh, never really considered that. There you go. Uh, Farad, hello. Glad you're watching. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, this morning, uh, Lewis and my uh, in Dalton here in the office went out to this piece of property. Um, I've, I've been kind of not feeling too well, so the idea of hiking in the sun up in the up in the mountains didn't sound too appealing this morning. But we listed this uh, piece of property, 120 acres, and they went up there today to skin rattlesnakes and catch trout and uh, all that. And, and there's a apparently there's a coal mine on this property as well. Is that the kind of stuff you see in Virginia? Coal mines and trout fishing? <laughs> no, uh, maybe out in West Virginia, but not here in Virginia, no. No, no. <laughs> Let's just say, Alex, so Alex Brackey, um, he says, how many presidents came from Fresno? How many so far? Yeah. None. That's so far, though, Alex. Zippy. <laughs> so, like, so far, but what you don't know is the next one could be. Right? I think I've got like an American. Jason Ferris for president. On my arm. No, I got too many skeletons in the closet to uh, <laughs> to run for uh, president. <laughs> Seriously. I'd have to start my own political uh, platform. It wouldn't be anything that we currently have. Um, all right. Let's, so we got a little bit about your market. That's awesome. We've also demonstrated. I, I mean, Eric, we demonstrated that you can be. You can get on live uh, on Facebook live video and look. Matter of fact, you know, Come on, what? Babe. this is nothing, man. This is nothing. This is nothing. Like I'm gonna bring Danielle in after you. Danielle, are you still there? Danielle, say something if you are. But so Danielle was a real timid. holler if you hear me, Danielle. Danielle was real timid about getting on uh, video, and she's in your 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 birth state, and she. Uh, finally yep here she is so she finally uh decided that you know like hey you know i'm gonna go ahead and do this and she was able to she got on video and just started being herself uh telling stories you know uh a lot of them were pretty entertaining uh, i i did i'm not saying she sh did some streaking i'm not saying she didn't but i'm saying she <laughs> did uh reach out and connect with a lot of people and as a result was able to help different people buy and sell homes but the idea behind all this, right, is that we're just people like everyone else and we're just getting to know each other, right? Wait a second. I choose to believe. Farad, Farad just said me too. Like, I think he went me too. Like, he just went streaking. <laughs> oh, he's, he hasn't done it live yet. So Farad hasn't streaked live yet. But I tell you what, I'd be impressed <laughs> if anybody did that. Steve Roca, how are you, brother? Um, all right. So Eric, where can people find you? They wanted to find you on social. Like they're like, Hey, I've got uh, friends and family in, in Virginia. They should totally, you know, connect with Eric or they want to follow you on social to see all the amazing things you're talking about. How do they find you? That's, um, easy, man. Facebook. Isn't that where everybody is? Just hit yeah. me up on Facebook send me a message, send me a post on my page, whatever. All right, and I'll throw up the links uh, on my Facebook once the video saves and records. So uh, thank you for doing that. Um, Eric, I will talk to you soon. I'm gonna grab Danielle, uh, well, if I can, let's see if I can. If I can't, then that will be, yeah, I can't. So I'm gonna grab her real quick. <laughs> that would be us. unfortunate. See if, can, see if we can catch her streaking and then we'll uh, talk to you soon. Yeah. Jason, take it easy, yeah, my so friend. All right, buddy. Talk to you soon. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So Eric is gone. Danielle, I'm trying to add you. Hi. Well, look at that. I'm not streaking. <laughs> <laughs> I see now. It's funny because like, like some of the people I see get on the on the video stream, like you said, streaking, and immediately my friend Ron Lyles gets online. And so, uh, Ron, what you missed is that she's not streaking. I am not. Not is the operative word here. <laughs> so, Danielle, real quick, tell everyone where you're from. I am from the good old sunshine state of Florida outside of um, Orlando in a spot called Tavares. 
I'm getting my glasses because I can't really see and I'm I'm not gonna be a rebel here. I gotta there we go. <laughs> but uh yep, good old Florida, Sunshine State. That's me. So Danielle, I'm gonna put you on the spot. I'm just gonna okay. ask you to tell us a little bit about your market, like you're the immediate market you serve. Like give me the average sales price, give me the average days on market, uh give me a little bit of what's going on in the market, like sixty second cap, no longer. Okay. Um, right now, the average sale price in this particular market is roughly um, about two ten to twenty. Um, average days on market. Wow, seem... two ten to yeah. twenty in Florida. Yeah. I would have guessed much higher. No, it's not 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 in our little area here, at least in the Lake County area. That seems to be the the average medium that right now that it's going. Um, and the other part to the question would be the answer to that question would end up being that the average days last time I checked, I think they said were 30, 35 or 36. Okay. So That's interesting. Yeah. We're in a tough spot right now here. It's, it's, you're really, we're really having to learn to um, go outside the box um, here to try to get things. Cause it's just low inventory and, ton of for sale by owners and they're just digging their heels in the ground and it's 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 rough it's enough to discourage you sometimes but you just got to remember to think outside the box have your little hissy fit for a few minutes after you get off the phone from somebody hanging up on you and just move on yeah. now danielle i would encourage you when you're saying to do things out of the box the first thing i thought of was for you to put on a swimsuit and sing in public but according to, <laughs> according to Cassie, according to Cassie, who's putting up some fun <laughs> notes on my screen, it is illegal for you, for anybody to sing in public, in a public place while wearing a swimsuit. Is that just in Florida what, or is that anywhere? Apparently it's in Sarasota, Florida. Um, well, you remember, what I said, uh, you remember what I said about Walmart? Every, everything can happen at Walmart. So if you want to do it, you just got to go to Walmart. But not a Sarasota Walmart, apparently. And apparently then like, not. <laughs> more out of the box activities. And it says, uh, oh, look, Daryl Wong's got a market question for you. He says, how is the red tide affecting your market? Well, we fortunately are not close to the red tide area at all. It is in the South Florida, much closer to Sarasota. Um, that that whole area has been affected by the red tide. We haven't been affected. Tell everyone by really quick what the red tide is, because I think some people uh, with football starting, they're thinking Alabama and stuff. Oh, <laughs> not roll, no, no roll tide, red tide. Um, the the red tide. I, I'm not a hundred percent real familiar with the whole thing because I try to stay clear from the beach because I, I I don't like sharks. Um, but the red tide <laughs> is an issue. <laughs> I don't. I don't like sharks and jellyfish. It's like, that's Nothing their home, not mine. Um, but yeah, the red tide is, it's, it's actually a bacteria that comes up from, I'm not exactly sure where it comes from, but that red tide is actually causing people, you don't need to be eating any type of shellfish, oysters, any of that kind of stuff. It, it can actually, it can be a flesh eating bacteria. Um, so it's pretty scary. So if the red tide's high, you don't want to be in the water or eat any of the seafood around here, or at least in Sarasota. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So Not good. there's the answer to that. Now, listen to this. I want to know something about the Sunshine State. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to know why is it illegal for an unmarried woman to engage in skydiving on Sundays? Wow. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. It, um, it says right here, parachuting is one of the most exhilarating pastimes in Florida. Okay. However, it's actually illegal for unmarried women to engage in skydiving on Sundays. So what, I wonder what would happen to them. Like why, uh, so if you're married, you can skydive? This is your opportunity to, to, to tell us a little bit about your market so that if we have friends or family that are moving into to your area they know a little bit about it well my area is awesome i love the whole mount dora Tavares area um we are actually known as the seaplane state uh, or the seaplane city uh Tavares is we are surrounded by a ton of lakes um so pretty much any access in the tri-county area here if you're looking for 
entertainment on the water, it sky's the limit. Restaurants on the lake. Um, Mount Dora is kind of like a, a little Mayberry. Um, if, if, if I could, if I had to pinpoint something, a lot of antique shops, um, a lot of entertainment going on if you're looking for a lot of crafts. One of the largest art festivals in the U.S. is actually here in Mount Dora, Florida. Um, people come from all over for that. So it's a real artsy town, um, water town. So if you're looking for some relaxation that gives you a little bit of a distance from the city, but yet you still get to be close to entertainment and have some fun, but you're not in the heart of it all. You kind of get a real peace and quiet but yet the fun too. So I love it here. It's a great place. Awesome. Awesome. L little well, hey, high. Thanks, thanks for getting, uh, getting on camera without any notice. That was really cool of you. I really appreciate oh, that. Good. What, do you, think, what I, do you think if we did this format? Like, I mean, I'll probably get something to mount the camera. So I'm not just holding it, but like, what do you think if we did something like this uh, every couple of weeks where we interviewed different uh, people in different communities, it could be real estate agents. Like I'd love to interview some of my agents to tell, a little bit about their story, um, but also different people in different areas of the world. Like I know people in Europe and Ireland and like, yeah, would that be kind of fun? Oh, I think that'd be great. Cause like, it gives a, it, it's a kind of like a break away from the monotony of, of, you know, everything that's going on and then getting to ask questions for things that you don't really end up, you know, even just little things. It's kind of like the end of the, the week, you've had a rough week. It's kind of a nice little wind down doing something like this. Oh, I like that. Kind of a nice little wind down. Yeah. I like that. Um, hey, yeah. Daryl had a comment. Did you see Daryl's comment? Can you see the screen? Yes, I can see that, Daryl. Um, you know, it's interesting. Our high-end homes here, they sit anywhere from six months to a year. They do not move quickly. I, uh, there's a house actually right around the corner. Um, 1.4 million um, on the water. That house has been sitting now for almost a year and they've dropped the price already two different times. Um, it's just, it's unfortunate. It's just not, that kind of money is not here. It, it's, it's kind of one of those things that's very selective. Um, you know, if you get somebody to come in that has a, a bunch of money, <laughs> I don't know if they're necessarily wanting to live on the lake on Lake Dora. <laughs> you know, they may be like, "Oh, if I'm going to spend 1.5 million, I'm going to the beach." Fair enough, Daryl. Yeah. That answer that question there. Is that surprising to you, Daryl? It's kind of surprising to me. I get this idea of Florida, and all I think of is, uh, you know, alligators, crocodiles. Uh, which both of those, right? They live together in Florida. You know, it's the only state where both of them live together. They're the only state where both of them live together. And I can tell you for a fact, I have witnessed with my own two eyes, an alligator, six and a half foot alligator, jump up out of the water and attack a sandhill crane and eat it in front of my eyes. I felt like the crocodile hunter, I swear. Did you catch that on video? You know what? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Ken was, Ken was so mad. He was had his camera and he was looking down at the camera because he had just gotten a shot of a bird that had gone by and he was messing with the settings and I looked up and I was like oh my gosh look 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 and that sucker just like it sprung out of the water and ate it and I swear to you I thought I was Steve Irwin I was just like oh my gosh I just witnessed the crocodile <laughs> master hunter here <laughs> and I got nothing on video not a thing it was it was so ridiculous and I was so mad <laughs> love it, it love happen. it love it it all right, true. so uh, Danielle, wait, what'd you say? Rich, I said, Daryl says, rich New Yorkers <laughs> retire there a lot. Okay, yeah, okay. So let me clarify Florida for just a second. Tavares, Mount Dora, Eustace, great area to live. That's the Tri-County area here, Leesburg. But it is not the place where if you're looking for high-end homes, not where people are coming. You see a lot of high-end stuff where people are going to live West Palm Beach, Palm Coast, Palm Bay, Miami. But Tavares is kind of like, a you know, it's it's beautiful. It's out of the way. But I don't necessarily see people that are $1.5 million homeowners just jumping off the and chomping at the bit to come here. So there are New Yorker retirees here, but not as many as you think. Okay. 
All right, Danielle. So um, if someone wanted to find you on social, uh, where would they go? Okay, so I'm on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram and LinkedIn. So you can find me there. I can send you my links if you want to share them out. Sure, that'd be good. Now, are you sending us the ones with the streaking or the ones that you're thinking <laughs> of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in another <laughs> life, that possibly could have happened. But now, not so much. <laughs> love it, love it. All right. Well, hey, thanks so much. I, oh, wait, Michael, do you know, I don't know. Do you know Michael Frank? We, maybe we can squeeze in one more here. Um, Michael Frank from, I think, Baltimore. Um, yeah. Uh, I, so, Danielle, I'm going to say goodbye to you. So is everybody Peace else out. with a nice wave? <laughs> we'll talk soon. Bye. And I'm going to grab um, Michael Frank here briefly. All right, Michael, we're bringing you in. You're on the spot. Michael What's Frank, up? how are you? How are you? I'm doing well. Let me take you off my car here. Give us, uh, tell me when you can, uh, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Well, we thought we had a third guest. Can you hear us, Michael? Michael is um, Baltimore, Maryland, right? I think he's frozen. Ah, we'll get Michael next time then, unless he comes on here while I'm, I'm babbling. Oh, there he is. You there, Michael? We don't have audio for you. Now we do. There we go. There you go. So, Michael, right. tell everyone a little bit about where you are. Give us the elevator speech for you and the market and keep it under 60 seconds. Awesome, dude. Um, Baltimore, Maryland and the greater surround. Um, market is awesome. Um, give, me some, give me some stats to back that up. Like, what's our average sales price in Baltimore, Maryland, if I went to, you know, if I'm just going to buy – there like how many days on market like tell kind of what's going on yeah um so our average sales price in baltimore as a whole is about 230 235 um my team we're at about 265 um our average days on market right now is floating right around 40 i think we're at 42 last month um we've got a lot of things happening in this market rehabs are a huge thing investments are a big deal um we've got a great middle average market in about the 200 price point and we've got a greater higher end price point that's going to range range really from like 500 to 800 um we're not a dominant high-end marketplace we don't have a lot of retirees or anything like that happening here but um business is always booming the market is always strong and um you know just continuing to to push the envelope trying to grow the business now i don't know much about uh, baltimore i mean other than that's the ravens right yeah, man. Ravens, right. Orioles. Um, we kind of Oriole. piggyback off Washington a little bit. Right. Orioles, like, are they, they still have their baseball team? <laughs> we just sold it all. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone? It's all gone? Yeah, man. So Cassie, Cassie's being pretty slick here. I don't know if she's struggling, but the only, the only fun fact, the only fun fact she's given me about Baltimore so far is that you guys have a state sport. Did you know that? <laughs> and, yes. and check this out. The state sport is jousting. Jousting. That's right. That's right. Are you kidding me? Like, is that like with the horses? Yeah, dude. With the horses and like a lance. Yeah. It's called a lance. When I hear, Hello. Oh my gosh. When I hear of uh, <laughs> uh, when I hear of jousting, I think of that video game. You know the Atari Twenty Six Hundred ga video game. Oh my and god, you, dude. And you got to hit the button as fast as you can to get the wings going up. <laughs> Dude, you're like predating me right now. I have an Atari. Oh, come on, but you played it. Look, uh, my did. buddy Sam Taggart just got on. He just got online, and I know he's played this game. Uh, Sam, you've played jousting, right? Come on, I know you have. Um, Sean Collins, <laughs> come on. Give me some likes if you played that game jousting. You know, with the Dude, wings and then the, 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 the pterodactyl go. flies by. Uh-huh. Look, I got I got two people that have played it. Shit. Right. I would have thought there'd been more. So anyway, state the state sport. I didn't even know it was a sport. 
Um, and then apparently, and apparently the first umbrella factory in the United States was in Baltimore. Who even knew that? Like, how did they even come up with that? <laughs> well, that's the thing, man. Like, everybody knows this. And this, maybe this could be, I mean, you got the first, a lot of things. You got the first dental school. I did know that. First dental school, first umbrella factory. I mean, and people need, <laughs> people need umbrellas. People need umbrellas, yeah. right? It's uh, the second leg of the Triple Crown, right? Um, one of the first oh. and, and best of the modern day baseball stadiums. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of awesome things about Baltimore. Some history, a really like a small town, like a big town with a small town feel. What's like the architectural style there? I mean, do you guys have, I mean, it sounds silly, right? But I mean, do you guys have like new developments or do you guys, yeah. uh, all the homes really old stuff, old stuff? Nah, it's a, it's a, a great blend. So in the downtown area, there's a lot, a lot of like the traditional row home, right? Uh, brick row okay. home side by side sharing a wall. And then we have uh, a lot of new renovation and a lot of new developments. So there's uh, some newer communities in the downtown area popping up where like old factories used to be. And then uh, just outside of the city, there's just a, a wealth of area that's become developed over the years. So okay. a lot of space. Um, um, I'm surprised. I was, again, I'm, I guess I'm always, I get this, you know, I don't visit the East Coast too often or the Eastern United States too often, but I guess I'm always surprised when I hear these average sales price and then being a lot lower than I expect. I mean, you guys yeah. don't have like, like, like in your market, in your market in particular, how many homes over a million dollars are there for sale right now? Oh my God. I don't even know the numbers. Um, if I had to guess, I would say maybe there's a hundred maybe wow okay that's a lot yeah I, if i had to if i had to throw out a number in fresno clovis right now i'd say maybe 20. well so the maybe. issue is that we cover a really big area because of the, the the highway system and where our office is located we can go 20 minutes and then be in so many different communities so like in the downtown area there's probably six to eight that are a million dollars or more. Uh, but also out in the county, which is where I live, there's a good amount of, of million dollar properties available. And uh, there's always things that are turning and, and new opportunities that are coming on the market. I've got a friend that's a developer that'll take uh, a two parcel plot of land and drop two million dollar homes on it completely custom. Uh, and those are really awesome opportunities to buy into that higher end price point because it's just not that common to have a million dollar complete custom build in this area. Okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah. And by the way, I mean, I know I jabbed at the Orioles a little bit, but this is pretty impressive. So Cassie, who's also a baseball fan, we won't talk about what team she likes, <laughs> but um, she likes the giants. <laughs> oh my God, dude. It's cause you're yeah. in California, West coast. But, but I'm in California. I like the A's. I mean, you know, like well, I mean, <laughs> Henry Coy, you know bandwagon fans. Like, what might can be you say? Fan. I don't know. What's that? You just picked up our Manny Machado. So yeah, well they did. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right. So, but here's what's interesting about Baltimore. Like, so players that have come. Is this people have come from Baltimore? Well, I don't know if these are accurate or not. Yeah. But if they're wrong, you can blame her. <laughs> Ready for this? Babe Ruth. Yeah. Cal Ripken Jr. Of course. Uh, Billy Ripken, uh -huh. Lefty Grove, and Frank I didn't know Home that Run Baker. Yes, we're I didn't all, know that one. We're, we're all born in Baltimore. Fact check. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, Edgar Allan Poe, born in Baltimore. Man, that's cool uh, stuff. I, did, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. It's an awesome city. All right. Hey, well, I appreciate you just jumping in like this. What do you think about this format? Like, just jumping in and introducing people to different areas of the country, hearing a little bit about their market. Casual, Dude, I think it's awesome. Cuff. I think it's such a cool idea. What's the one food like? Like, so if I if I if I travel to Baltimore, and I'm going to be there for one meal. Price isn't an object. Where do I go? What do you serve me? Oh my God! How do you do that to me? We have so much good food here. Uh, but, but what's the one? 
one thing you for gotta me, have I, gotta, I gotta leave and talk about is the experience. You gotta have all you can eat crabs somewhere on the water, anywhere on the water, all you can eat crabs. That's what you gotta do. Dude, you had me at all you can eat. <laughs> it's awesome. Well, you, dude, shout out to you. Killed it at Summit and uh, and and your you. years adventure is like really powerful and moving for a lot of people. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> means that means a lot for you to say. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, hey, while we're talking about food, um, Kevin, a friend of mine, Kevin Liston just uh, Listenson just got online. He owns a. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my Fresno flavor <laughs> videos. But he owns Rocket Dog, uh, and they're a hot dog place. They have hot dogs and, and, and hot links and stuff like that on their menu. Yeah. But they've got uh, two or three now locations uh, in Fresno. But they were my first episode of Fresno Flavor. And, man, his wife, who's actually running, like, a big part of running the show for him, like, she's a TV star, and he doesn't even know it. Like, if you go back and <laughs> find that, like, I'm serious, man. And like, Kevin, I, ho I hope you're listening. But, like, if, if – you go you Google that, like go Fresno flavor, rocket dog, and then watch her on camera. He's got her doing the yeah, wrong dude. thing. He needs to like <laughs> get her in Hollywood or something. I'm saying it. Uh, and look, Danielle, who we had on earlier when you were waiting, uh, she says gator yeah. bites. That'd be the one food we got to have is gator bites. Of course. Got to try it. <laughs> you guys dude, are crazy. I, I yeah. love gator bites. They're the best. You guys are crazy. You guys, I've never had. I, I guess I would, as long as I got some hot sauce on them. Well, uh, when you come out for uh, by design, we'll go grab crabs. Ah, uh, sure. very there good. There you go, dude. All right, you got a date. Hey, All right, man, so I'll where, catch where up does, with you where, soon. Where does everybody find you on social in case they're uh, traveling in your area and want to grab some fresh crab? Uh, I'll send you all my links and everything, but um, on Facebook, it's Michael Frank Real Estate. On uh, Instagram, it's Michael underscore Frank underscore Realtor. Um, and Snapchat and all the others. I'll send them all to you. Awesome. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. And thank you, those of you. A lot of you have been on this whole time. I think that's great. Some have come and gone. But uh, the video will be saved. And then uh, this will be episode one of a new format thing that we'll yeah, try. Man, thank every you. Week. All right, brother. Peace. Drive safe. All right. See ya.